Hello everyone. Today I want to go over a technique on how to prime factorize large factorials. So I did this on a previous video, um, a divi the divisor video. I'll have the link to that in the description. But let's just start off with an example, a small example. Let's say we want to prime factorize 5 factorial. So remember, what is prime factorization? Prime factorization is taking a number and splitting it as the product of, cer of certain uh, prime numbers to the power of certain numbers. So in this case, 5 factorial. Well, we know that 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So let's just go from there. Powers of 2. Well, we got 1 power of 2 over here and 2 powers of 2 over here because 4 is 2 squared. So 5 factorial consists of a 2 to the power of 3. Okay, and now let's see, powers of 3. Well, we got a 3 over here, but we don't have a 3 anywhere else. So there's only 1, 3, 3 to the power of 1. And finally, the next prime is 5. There's 1, 5 times 5 to the power of 1. So that's how you prime factorize 5 factorial. So just a heads up, what I did there was that I went through every prime number starting with 2, then going to 3, then 5, and then finding the powers of that prime number within the factorial. So let's go to a little bit of a bigger example. 20 factorial. Okay. So obviously that's 20 times 19 times 18 times 3 times 2 times 1 and the stuff in between. So let's just do what we did for 5 factorial. Start with the powers of 2. Well, we can start with 2, there's a 2 here, but then there will be a times 4, then a times 6, 8, 10, 12, 16, 18, 20. Each of those will have at least one power of 2. So, we count up the number of 2s, uh, the number of 2s in 20. So that's just 20 divided by 2, right? 20 divided by 2, so that's 10. So that's 2 to the power of 10. Well, not exactly. Keep in mind, 4 is 2 squared. So there's another power of 2 in each uh, multiple of 4. So let's multiply 20 by 4, and we get there are 5 more powers of 2. But hold on, there's also an 8. 8 is 2 cubed. So now we have to look at all the multiples of 8 up to 20. So if we do 20 divided by 8, we don't get an integer. However, if we take the floor function, and all the floor function is, is taking the uh, the nearest into the integer less than the number that you get inside of this floor function. So 20 divided by 8 is 2 point something, right? 2 point something. But we don't want that point something. We just want a whole number. So round up down to 2. You always round down. In fact, we can put floor functions on all of these. Because the floor function of an integer is just that integer. But the floor function of that integer point something is just that integer. So, now we have the powers of 2, 4, 8, and, oh, don't forget, 16. 16 is 2 to the power of 4. So there's an extra power of 2 there. So 20 divided by 16, the floor of that is equal to 1. So this is the number of powers of 2 in 20 factorial. 10 plus 5 plus 2 plus 1, that gives us 18. 2 to the power of 18. So let's do this for 3. So, 3, well, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, right? All of those have at least one power of 3 in them. So, let's do 20 divided by 3, floored, floored. So, that equals 6. So, you got at least 6. Then you got, uh, let's see, 9. 9 is 3 squared, correct? So, let's look at the multiples of 9 up to 20. So the floor function of 20 divided by 9 is 2. Now, is there anything else? Well, 3 squared is 9. What's 3 cubed? Well, that's 27. And 27 is bigger than 20. So we don't need to check any more powers of 3. We already have this many. 6 plus 2, that's 8. So it's 2 to the 18 times 3 to the 8th. So let's check now the next prime, which is 5, not 4. Remember. We don't need to check non-prime numbers. This is prime factorization. So we're doing this for each prime number. Remember that. So let's check 5. 
5, 10, 15, 20. Those multiples of 5 are under or equal to 20 and have at least one power of 5. So let me just write it over here. 20 divided by 5 is equal to 4. So there's at least 4 powers of 5. Now, what about 5 squared? Well, 5 squared is 25, and 25 is bigger than 20. So we don't have to go any more than this. We know that there are only 4 powers of 5. Okay, let's see. The next prime is 7. 7, 14. And that's it. The floor of 20 divided by 7 is 2. So there are only 2 powers of 7. We don't have to go further because 7 squared is 49, which is already way bigger than 20, right? So it's not going to be anywhere near that proximity in which we're going to have another power of 7. So there's 7 squared. Let's see, 8's not prime, 9 isn't prime, 10 isn't prime, 11. Well, the floor of 20 divided by 11 is 1 point something, aka just 1. So there's just 1 power of 11. And again, we, can, we don't have to look for 11 squared, because 11 squared is 121, which is 101 bigger than 20. So we don't have to worry about that. So now, from now onwards, every prime is only going to have 1, because the square of that prime is going to be so much bigger than 20. So let's see, what's the next prime? 13, let's see, 17, 19, and no more, because the next prime number is 23, but 23 is bigger than 20, so, uh, and obviously, uh, 23 is not in 20 factorial, you can't make a 23 in 20 factorial, so this is it, this is our whole prime factorization, 2 to the 18 times 3 to the 8th, times 5 to the 4th, times 7 squared, times 11, times 13, times 17, times 19. Oops. I think. There we go. And there we have it. So it's a bit uh, confusing at first. It definitely was for me. But once you do more and more contest math problems, it gets a lot easier. So have a nice day.